Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on a Jaguar F-Type today, and I've been using the Grip Launch products on the vehicle uh, while I'm doing the detail on the vehicle. So any chance I had to actually jump on doing a video of one of the Grip Launch products, I'm going to do that. Now, this actual car, I cut it with infinite cut, I finished it with infinite finish, and it looks awesome. Had a lot of uh, watermarks, uh, etched, really bad etching uh, watermarks, and then it had scratches, swirls, and that kind of thing, and a lot of haze. So I'm shooting the videos on this car because it's black and you can see everything that happens a lot better on a black car uh, than you can on a lighter colored car. So in between doing the detail, I'm actually using some of the other products. So for example, I shot the Grip Launch all-in-one polish with sealant video before I did the correction on the vehicle. So at this point, I have cut with infinite cut, finished with infinite finish, and then I also applied Force Field Pro 5 Plus, uh, the new pro version of uh, Force Field, uh, already on the car. So that's all done. Uh, I have also allowed it to cure for two hours at this point. Now I'm going to go one step beyond. I'm going to apply the brand new Grip Launch liquid paint sealant to the exterior of the car. So it's just added protection. I'm taking the opportunity to shoot the video on this. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so I'm working on this Jaguar F-Type. I'm gonna show you the application product process that I recommend for uh, the brand new uh, Grip Launch liquid paint sealant. So this product works very much like Vitality Shield in application, so it's the same. So if you're using my higher end Vitality Shield liquid paint sealant uh, coating situation, uh, then it's the same application pro process as this. The biggest difference between this and the Vitality Shield is going to be that, or and the Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream, is that this doesn't contain any of the acrylic and none of the hardener that the Vitality Shield has and the Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream. Uh, Vitality Shield doesn't have the hardener, but it does have a lot of the acrylic and uh, several other pol polymers in it. Uh, but the Heavy Duty Car Show Dream Cream has lots of different amazing stuff in it, including the acrylic. Whereas this is only polymers, not that fantastic, fancy acrylic. It still works really well. In fact, it's really glossy, really slick. It lasts a good long while. Um, it really makes you feel amazing when you see the water beat up or whatever. I don't think that's the end all be all of, of knowing whether or not you have protection, uh, especially because you can just wipe mineral oil all over your car, hit it with water and it's gonna bead like crazy anyway. So, and that's a solvent. So uh, I don't feel like that's the end all be all of figuring out whether or not you still have protection. However, that's not this video. This video is just the application process and a little information about the brand new Grip Launch liquid paint sealant. I prefer to apply it with a dual action polisher, the Harbor Freight DA on speed four, uh, with a, this is the close, closed cell structure uh, pad from Buff and Shine. I prefer Buff and Shine because they just, they work, they last a long time, and they just, they do a great job. I mean, that's the bottom line. So anyway, I do sell these pads on detailjuice.com, and that's where you can find the liquid paint sealant and the other Grip Launch products, as well as all of my other stuff. So anyway, speed three to four on a dual action polisher, you're gonna use about a quarter of an, quarter of an ounce, uh, which is essentially the uh, cap amount on a full size car. So I'll go ahead and get it rigged up. All right, so you've got your uh, Harbor Freight DA. Center the pad on this bad boy. You're gonna make sure you're on, I don't know, we'll put it on three and a half on the dial. What I always recommend is you want to make sure the surface is free of any uh, old wax or sealant, any contaminants and that kind of thing. So always before you protect, you want a clay bar and then you can use my stripper juice, stripper rinseless wash or stripper soap to remove any and everything that's on the surface prior to applying anything if you prefer to add that step, which is definitely a good idea. On this one, 
I'm not looking to take away anything that's under there. I'm trying to enhance it and add to it. So I want to add more protection, more gloss, more slickness. Like I already mentioned, I've already corrected the car and I've already applied Force Field Pro 5 Plus acrylic coating to the car. This is just going to be in addition to the coating. So you want to, the first order of business is to make sure that the, uh, you're going to shake the paint sealant up. You're going to make sure that the pad is nice and primed. Put a little extra product on. Now, just like if you've seen the Grip Launch All-in-One polished with sealant video, you're going to notice that what I do to the surface of the paint is I'll rub in all of that product I just put on the surface and make sure that pad is primed properly. You want product all over the surface of that pad so that you're not dry buffing. Dry buffing is going to basically scratch the paint, scuff it all up, and it's not going to work properly. You need the lubricating oils and that kind of thing and the polymers to glide across the surface. So with some of the heat and the mechanical ability, it aids in the curing process. Uh, curing on the polymers that are in here, about a half an hour is, is a solid estimate. Uh, as far as uh, applying it to the whole car is what I do first. I apply this product to the entire car with the machine. Then I go back, I wait 10 minutes, and then I buff it off by hand. So I'll get started with that. Now, once you've used the uh, primed portion, you're just going to add just a little bit to the surface for each additional pass that you do. I'm back and I apologize for the uh, lower light. I didn't put a light on me for this particular video. So uh, I just got finished applying the brand new liquid paint sealant from my Grip Launch Recon Rescue line, uh, which is my entry level line. If you guys are wondering where that goes in the hierarchy of what currently exists, this is the entry level line. Now it. <sighs> It's complicated to explain it, but the bottom line is this is for high production detail shops and enthusiasts. So it is a lower cost of entry than the other lineups, but it's not slam packed with the same amount of value that you get with the incredible concentrates with the other lines. So cost per use is going to be higher with my entry level grip launch line. However, the cost of entry. So if you don't have a lot of money to get started, don't want to spend a lot to get a fantastic end result, you can buy the grip launch line. Now it's not going to give you the same gloss slickness and protection, really, really amazing results that the higher end products do, but you're still going to get an amazing end result from quality products that didn't cost a lot to get into. So that is the grip launch line and its purpose. It is for those demographics and that's what's going on. So you get awesome results. They're just not as technologically advanced and the raw materials are sourced from less costly sor sources compared to our higher end lineup. So I have applied it with a machine to the entire vehicle here, this Jaguar F-Type. 
And you guys know I'm not a fan of, of fancy towels. I think I feel like they're bullshit. Uh, I don't need anything more than the all-purpose towels that I, I uh, sell on DetailJuice.com. And you guys do know, if you guys have been around for a while, if I don't se if I sell it, that's what I use. If I don't use it, I don't sell it. So anything on my site is what I use as a pro detailer. So this is an actual customer's car. So I'm actually doing the job Whereas most companies are bringing in a car from a controlled environment at a, you know, an afternoon, um, you know, garage type scenario. This is an actual customer car. I'm an actual detailer using my own stuff. So if you notice, maybe you can, maybe you can't. I will bring the camera in so that you can potentially see a little better. This area here. I'll see if you can tell. You can see the line there where all of the product is on the surface. Now you'll notice, so I applied it. It took about 10 minutes to apply it to the whole car. It's been roughly 15 minutes because uh, I was fumbling with the camera trying to get it right. But you'll notice it wipes right off with no effort. Well, little to no. I mean, I'm literally having to wipe the vehicle but that's all it takes wipes right off leaves amazing gloss it is slick as all get out crystal clear and looks amazing so i'm gonna go around the rest of the car and get the uh product off the car and then i'll be back to close the video all right guys i'm back i'm totally done applying waiting the time it takes for the product to set and then buffing it all off uh, i was applying the brand new grip launch liquid paint sealant so all in from the time i grabbed my da put the pad on started priming shot the video and did all of this now keep in mind with these videos if i don't shoot a video i'm probably at least one third faster than i and if I have to shoot the video and work. So uh, when I give you this number, you're gonna be like, wow. So shooting the video, applying, prep, apply, wait the 10 minutes for the product to set, then buffing it all off, all in, took me 30 minutes. 30 minutes all in. Now, keep in mind, I already had all the prep work done on the car. So the car was already pre-detailed uh, before I jumped in to apply this stuff. So. All in, 30 minutes, itty bitty car. A Suburban shouldn't take you more than an hour. If you're looking to make money with this, there's a lot of money to be made. It's a lot of effort to put out in an hour, but it's a solid hour that you can add to upsell or just, if you're not gonna go with your hourly rate, just charge an, you know, a solid flat rate for the liquid paint sealant upgrade. So in the Grip Launch line, this would be the strongest protective product that there is. So um, the technology in here is the same technology that's in the all-in-one polish with sealant. And the spray sealant is actually uh, two of the polymers that are in here. So in a sprayable spray and wipe type formula. So uh, the Levels of protection will be the spray sealant, the all-in-one, and then the liquid paint sealant. Um, all there's so many variables. I don't want to give you any like estimates on how long things should last. Uh, I just don't think it's fair. I mean, things last differently here in Florida than they do the, on the in the rest of the planet. So uh, this has been the brand new liquid paint sealant from DetailJuice.com. It is in the Grip Launch lineup. If you guys have questions for me, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. You can give me a call, leave me a voicemail if I don't answer, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, or send me a text message, and generally I can respond to you pretty fast. Uh, but beyond that, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram at, at gary.dean35, and uh, also check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we only talk about my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So if you wanna learn more about my products but you don't wanna hear it all from me, I'm a little biased, uh, my name is uh, on every bottle. So uh, if you wanna hear testimonials or, or 
that kind of thing from other people, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. Send us a request. We'll get you in there learning about that. So again, I can't help you if you don't reach out. If you got questions for me, no problem reaching out. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for your trust and support. Have a wonderful day.